Everybody, my guest this afternoon are Swim in South Africa President Alan Fritz, former 200 meter backstroke and 200 meter freestyle swimmer Karen uh, Prince Lou, and of course my colleague from the sports desk, Claudine Timkulum. Welcome everyone to Inside Sports. Do we have the talent currently to compete in Tokyo and what can be done to elevate South African swimming to higher levels? I mean, if we begin with the history of the swim in South Africa and they return to one of the major competitions in the globe, which was the Olympic Games. It was 1992 when we saw Penny Haynes proudly raising up the South African flag and saying, you know what, this is going to get our nation together. And once again, we will be a people and a nation that believes in uh, sports that can change the lives of every single individual within our country. So it's my pleasure, of course, to welcome my guest to the show. And I'm going to start off uh, with Karen prince Lou. Thanks for joining us, Karen. Um, wow, the state of swimming in South Africa has been in quite an uh, a very incredible and interesting type of position and place. Um, what are your thoughts so far, especially with the new year, uh, just a few days into 2021? Karen? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. And um, it's, it's quite like obviously we, we all look forward to last year um, to see what South Africans can bring to the table. But um, unfortunately, that was postponed. And um, yeah, I think I spoke to Tatiana Skinmarker. She's one of my best friends. So we, um, we, I actually saw her yesterday, and she said never in her life um, has she had so many weeks that she could just consistently um, train. So um, she's swimming TVs at training, so it's really looking great at the women's side um, yeah, for a medal, I think. So um, I'm really excited, excited to see what the FSMS can do. I must disagree, Corin. I'm going to have to bring in Mr. Fritz in here. Welcome, sir. Great to have you on Inside Sports. Uh, Swimming South Africa has, in a sense, failed to face the current challenges that the organization and the institution is hit by, especially because there's so many problems that have come out of the last few years that has affected the systematic running of the organization. As president of Swimming South Africa, do you agree that there's a lot more to be done? Yeah, I must just uh, say thank you for having me on your show and good afternoon, Karen. Good afternoon to your viewers. I don't agree with you when you say swimming has failed. If you look at our record since readmission to world sport in 1992, we have been the single most uh, successful federation in our country. And if you look at uh, the delivery of medals consistently, be it at world championships, continental championships or regional championships, and even at the Olympic Games since readmission, the most successful federation. I'm, I don't agree with uh, the opening statement of uh, uh, every federation in this country has challenges, and so does our Olympic Committee. And our biggest challenge, of course, in, in our country, is not talent, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's funds. Swimming South Africa doesn't have a corporate sponsor. It's a well-known fact. Uh, and year on year, we still produce the athletes that makes this country proud. I am of the opinion that, uh, yes, it has been a very, very difficult year for us, particularly swimming, uh, but for most federations in our country. Uh, COVID, the advent of COVID has disrupted uh, our programs uh, really, really badly. Uh, you know, from uh, level five in March, uh, right down to level one, we have been engaging with uh, our principals at government and at SESCOC for that matter. Uh, to ensure that our athletes have the best opportunity to uh, compete. Uh, the pinnacle of sport, the Olympics, is uh, upon us, uh, and it was cancelled uh, or postponed uh, last July, till this uh, July. And yes, our athletes uh, returned uh, only uh, late last year to training, where our counterparts, you know, that we compete against the best in the world. Our counterparts in Europe has been back since May. Um, it's Australians were back in training, Americans were never out of training. We have a, a good backlog in terms of uh, preparations in this regard. Absolutely, uh, let Mr. Me just Fritz. Pause here and take your next question. Yes, 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 I totally agree, Mr. Fritz. But when I look at the state that swimming South Africa is in, I look at five issues that stand out for me the lack of funding, uh, sports science in particular that is specifically uh, linked to uh, overall uh, performance measurement, uh, the facilities, training, uh, policies and structures, and also leadership, which happens to uh, pop its head up once in a while to say that, listen, we'd like to have things become a little bit different. You mentioned that, of course, as a single federation, 
nation that swim in South Africa has been able to produce some of the best performances at the Olympic Games. You're right. Second to athletics. Uh, they are, of course, the highest uh, medal producers in terms of medals, and that being uh, 18 first being athletics with 23 but what we've seen happen especially with um, Zane Waddle being the latest casualty um, of, of one of our great swimmers here in the country um, uh, we obviously seen that some something's happening within swimming South Africa that is pushing our talent out and we can't preserve them I bet you mr. Fritz if you sent an email to Zane he'd um, obviously helping him understand just what is expected from him from a, an athlete's point of view and what the organization can do. It will be a total different story altogether because in the past we've also seen some swimmers call it quits simply because the organization is not uh, leading from the front. Yeah, it's not true that we're not leading from the front. Uh, we have uh, just from a funding point of view, and I'll come back and talk about the OPEX program. Uh, at the advent of us entering international sport, uh, Corporate South Africa mostly funded uh, uh, the Olympic Committee and sport in this country. And I was maybe sitting on the other side uh, as a sponsor. Uh, the lotteries organization was established in South Africa by and large to fund sport. Uh, we have seen that kind of funds dwindling. Uh, OPEX has seen reduced amount of money coming in for athletes, uh, just put aside Sescox's problems they had in the past, uh, but athletes really has it's been an operational excellence program, was well looked after. Uh, we can do more if there's more money available. And All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get into made... that, Mr. Fritz, so just shortly on the show. We'll continue our conversation in a short while. This is Inside Sports. Do stay with us.